Many people find it hard to keep up with rising costs of medication, even with insurance. As First News at Nine's Leanne Stapleton explains, Senator Tammy Baldwin is standing behind a bill working its way through Congress that could lower the cost of insulin for people who rely on it to live. In the United States, we pay often two to three times as much as people elsewhere in the world for prescription drugs. More than two dozen senators around the nation have shown support for the Affordable Insulin Now Act, including Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin. This bill uh, would make it so that nobody has to pay more than $35 per month out of pocket for uh, needed insulin. People with certain types of diabetes require insulin injections every day. Baldwin says with rising costs, it's getting more and more expensive to buy this life-saving drug. It's not uncommon for me to hear that people are spending hundreds of dollars per month and uh, totaling five to six thousand dollars a year. Uh, just to maintain their health and buy insulin. Phoenicia Bouch has type 1 diabetes and needs to take insulin. There's two types. There's the long acting and the short acting. And for just one kind of it, it was like two to three hundred dollars for a month's worth supply, which when you don't have a job or insurance, it's really hard to do. Bouch says she's seen firsthand the rise in insulin costs. But even just my like deductible has been going up. So like it used to be like $30 per month and now it's 75. Courtney Scott is the mom of a 10 year old who also has type one diabetes who needs insulin injections. He is also on a pump. And so that part of it too is an extra huge expense with the pump supplies and Dexcom. She says if passed, this bill could lift some of the financial strain. It would be a huge relief. It would be a game changer. Baldwin says this bill could open doors to making more medications available and affordable. It's a first step to get the price of prescription drugs you know, under control for, for those of us in the U.S. Leanne Stapleton, First News at 9. Baldwin says the Affordable Insulin Now Act has been introduced and is referred to the committee for consideration. She hopes to be able to bring the bill up for debate this month.